Welcome back everybody to Express. I'm going to be showing you how to resize your actual, uh, let's say, product or your image into Shopify. So there's actually two ways that we can do this. Uh, the very first thing and the most obvious way is to go back into your Shopify dashboard and go directly into your products. And here what you wanted to do is to look out for a product that you wanted to, let's say, change the image. In my case, let's say that I wanted to look out for these snowboard or this earphone based earbuds. And as you can see, we do have the specifications. I scroll a little bit down and I have here my medium. Usually what I do here in order to change here is to, as you can see here into the upper side, we have 800 by 800 pixels so if i have the same image uh into my actual computer in this case let's say for example this one i usually use another application to resize this automatically for example uh canva so let's say that i wanted to use half of the quality so instead of 800 i just go for 400 by 400 i create my new design i hit into upload and now what I just did is to upload the file that I wanted to change in this case is the image that we have just uh, have into our computer. In this case, it's actually this one. So uh, check it out here. I have now this one. I resize it like this. And now I have 400 by 400. So I hit now into show. I hit now into my download. Here is the actual size. If you wanted to make this a smaller, a little bit more smaller. Now what is left to be done is to go back into the product. I delete this media or before you delete this media, what I can totally suggest to you is to choose you delete the media and upload your new image in here. Open. There we go. The next solution that I can give you, which is much more faster is just by clicking the product. And here, if you focus into your left part, we have the resize button, draw and crop and rotate. So I go for resize and i choose my desired size which in my case is this one lock the aspect radio i hit now into done i hit into save and i have now checked out the close button so what i just need to do is to go back into my product here i have my catalog i'm gonna hit into my supplies and i just want to make sure that my products are now with a new image but check it out here these are really um really bigger images in here so it doesn't matter actually if you change your image in here it's going to be what's going to be happening here is that your image are not going to be with less resolution because what happens in here is that the actual theme of your store is making the resize of your images so we have done two steps here let's go for the last step let's go back into my shopify dashboard let's go into my online store inside my online store what i want to do is to now focus into the themes I click into themes, I click into these three dots, and instead of going to customize, let's go for edit the code. This one should be bringing me into this new code section. So you don't have to be discouraged, you don't have to be afraid here. I look out for product, and I just wanna focus into my main product liquid. And here into control F, what I want to do is to go for find, and scroll or look out for the word warped. You clicked into section main product.cws because this one should be bringing me into the info grabber. And as you can see, I have the max width. So I'm going to change this from 35% to maybe 15%. Go scroll a little bit down and do exactly the same thing with all the images in here. So max width 15%, 15%, 15%. And now my images are much more smaller. Now, maybe I could just exaggerate here because I have the same images in here, but I wanted to change the actual size in here. So personally, what I actually love to do is to edit this directly from the editor and not in the coding. So you can do either to coding or just edit this directly from your editor of Shopify. And I just told you how you can do this. So go directly into your product collection list and change the elements that you do want or you do not want to see. So with that being said, guys, we have not reached the very end of the video, but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more great tools on how we can edit stuff from your products and your stuff from Shopify. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hopefully we can see you next time.